What's good internet, Justin here, and in this video, I'm gonna try, and by try, I mean fail, and stumble, and be all over the place on trying to explain on how to add on-screen animations um, to your stream, and even recordings, although I guess you can do uh, recording animations in post, but whatever, sometimes you just, you're just gonna be lazy about it, so this is pretty much as basic as you can get. I'm just going to show you how to add the script and make the basic changes that you need. As far as other stuff goes, like adding different things like snowflakes and hieroglyphics and all that nerdy stuff, um, that ain't coming from here. If I have not mentioned before, I use OBS, but I'm pretty sure you can do it in XSplit just as easily. Uh, I don't have money, I'm broke, and XSplit costs money to fully utilize everything, so I'm not going to mess with it, and hopefully you can figure it out yourself. Uh, but I'm pretty sure just add options and add custom URL and find the HTML file and you should be good to go. If not, that's what the internet is for and I hope for you, you can figure it out. Um, but I stumbled upon a stream that was actually using this animation and on an unrelated note, I went to the Twitch subreddit and the guy that created it or, you know, helped create it, uh, posted it as a topic. And I believe his name is Hollywood Scotty or something like that, which you'll see his name pop up in this video and in your files quite a few times but the topic is right here and I highly suggest visiting it because everyone is happily helping each other out giving suggestions and he's making changes as well as time goes on and I'm pretty sure uh, a bunch of people here are asking questions and you know everyone's answering each other so there's that there's help and there's probably and hopefully future changes as well anyways go ahead and download the file and should be this one even though it looks blank that's it download and go ahead and zip it and extract it to where you want it to go of course i put everything on the desktop first off you want to upload your html file go ahead and right click on sources add clr browser name it as you wish question mark and upload your html file and if you do not have a script editing program, I highly suggest Notepad++. There are a few others that people have their preference over, such as Dreamweaver, and that's <laughs> these are the only two I pretty much know. Um, I was highly suggested Notepad++ whenever it is that I do stuff like this. Pretty much just separates your JavaScript and HTML um, line by line, so it is easier for you to edit. Now the first thing you want you want to change is the three hundred thousand, which is milliseconds, and which, if my math is correct, is five minutes, and it actually says it right here. But I'm just gonna go with because I'm Asian, I should be good at math. I knew that three hundred thousand milliseconds is five minutes, so change that to your own discretion. Um, you know, as with all files, you want to back everything up unless you're like me and have to uh, re-upload everything so many times, so many sad times. We're going to go all the way to the bottom, and there's his name again, and this is essentially what you want to change. Um, so you can think of it as, let me start, actually, before I start it over, I'm actually going to change it to the file that you guys should probably have, and it is messed up. See? Sad times. Oh, it's right here. What the hell? How did that happen? So let's fix this first. All right. I got you guys. Don't worry. That's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. There we go. We got it. Let's restart it over. Perfect, beautiful. So you can essentially think of it as uh, T1 and the O1 and I1 are the first slide, as you can see here. T1 represents text. Orb represents the uh, the background color, and the icon represents the social media or whatever image you have in the middle. Damn dog barking everywhere, messing up everything. <laughs> All right, how am I gonna approach this now? Okay, let's uh, take a step back real quick, just in case, don't look at that, I don't want to show you guys anything that I'll regret. Uh, but anyways, wherever you saved your HTML file, make sure everything is extracted, including the images, otherwise it might not be able to find it. So here's where I extracted everything to the desktop. So when you first originally downloaded it, you get Steam, uh, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you go to the original Reddit thread, you actually get somebody actually edited extra social media pictures for you. So you can go ahead and use those. But back to the matter at hand. So say you want to add um, uh, extra social media 
advertisements or you want to do another slideshow or a slide uh, essentially another slide pretty much so this is what it looks like when you first downloaded it there's three of them uh, but when you fix everything up it should look something like this so the cool thing is which I kind of oh no they're still here the cool thing is he included extras already all you have to do is cut and paste right under the previous one uh, make sure again all the numbers are correct and make sure you know brackets are closed and stuff like that um, sounds like a small deal but it happens all the time so this is what it looks like again the HTML body this is what it should end up looking like depending on how many you want to have so for organizational weirdos like myself the part up here is not in order uh, compared to down here so down here it's text orb and icon up there it's text icon and orb so it may be a little confusing for some people if they're like in a rush or they don't know what they're doing like myself uh, so make sure you're paying attention to what goes where and making sure everything matches up correctly so going up here let's just go to the default one again the cool thing is he adds extras even up here so all you have to do is essentially cut and paste right under it again make sure the brackets are closed and uh, things are labeled correctly this is what it looks like when you first download it download it and this is what it looks like oh where is it there it is when you fix everything up and again this is the icon part this is what it looks like standard and when you fix it up all you do is again cut and paste up here and this part is a little messed up. He kind—I of, don't know if he didn't—he uh, forgot to add it or what. But there's no extras for the orb, as far as editing it here. So you would think, and I guess you're not wrong, but you're not right either. You would—all you have to do is copy this part and simply just paste it. And if you try and do it, all, and if you just change the number, you would think you're done. But uh, I learned this the hard way actually, and I noticed that the uh, this part these seconds uh, mean a whole lot so when you first uh, depending on which one you paste you're gonna realize these numbers are different and they're in 10 second intervals so you want to change those up at 10 seconds apart make sure they all match oh wrong one this is what it should look like when it's done so 20 20 20 30 30 30 or it's 30.5 actually so I don't know if these mean any if this means anything as far as like how often you want it to fade in and fade out but I don't want to mess with those just in case I'm giving you guys the wrong information or you know like I said I don't know what I'm talking about either this is just getting it down to the basics uh, but that's not the last part you have to change uh, let's get rid of that real quick uh, this part up here the regular OB there's no number this part right here is also something you have to change which uh, I think they posted it up posted it up in the reddit thread uh, depending on how many slides depending on how many um, things you advertise are shown up uh, dep represents this number so if you have three go ahead and put three but in my case I have four so I put four and if you only want to have two slides or whatever then you obviously change that to two and last but not least uh, if you want to change the background color to correctly represent which social media outlet or whatever it is that you're advertising to a correct color uh, go ahead and change these numbers and letters right here go ahead and look up HTML color codes on the internet there are also some things about um, making things transparent and all that stuff but I haven't exactly gotten into it quite yet this is again this is just you know getting it down to what it originally looks like which isn't popping up so this is just pretty much to get it to look like this all right once you feel comfortable with what you have go ahead and save it in my case I just you know food show I switched it over to the one I already did uh, but yeah that's pretty much all if anything looks wrong please check your numbers check your brackets make sure they're closed make sure you don't have anything extra uh, you know I will try to help you to the best of my knowledge which is very basic to close to non-existent really but I'm pretty sure people in the reddit thread are willing to help you guys out pretty sure uh, and again shout outs to Hollywood Scotty definitely big shout out I mean I gave him free advertisements for a while on the stream right or on this on the video right um, but yeah I'll probably jump in his 
stream one day and say what's up. And you guys should too. Send him, tell him I sent you, even though I'm a nobody and he doesn't have, have any idea who I am, but whatever. It's all about networking. Like I said, I gave him free advertisements. Um, again, that is all. Uh, if, hopefully, you can figure it out and see if it works for yourself. I know other websites like T Notify or T Board, I think, um, kind of do the same thing as well. And there's other services, but they charge, and who wants to pay for this type of shit? But whatever. Um, like I said, this is just to get you guys started, get you off on the right track, and you know, at least at least installing it for your stream. And again, good luck to you guys on figuring it out. Hopefully, you got it somewhere. So let me know if it worked out for you, and it'll help with my self-esteem knowing that I helped somebody out or I just gave someone a headache because I totally gave the wrong information. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. Please follow and support. Um, again, hopefully it helps you guys out. Thanks again. See you guys later.